Hello and welcome back to AP Tech Tutorials. In this video I'm going to show you how to configure uh, a Linksys router. I'm going to be using a uh, user interface simulator online which you can actually do it too if you need to practice to configure yours. Uh, by practicing here uh, of course you're not be breaking anything I will give you an idea of what you're going to see uh, once uh, if you buy a Linksys router most of the interfaces uh, the older the um, the router the older the interface will be but I'm just gonna show you, uh, show you one of the most recent interface out there in the market basically um, to get here you need to navigate to uh, UI user interface dot dot com. I will post this uh, link in the uh, description of this video as well. So uh, to start up, I'm j I just decided to uh, do this guy here, uh, the A and EA eighty three hundred. Okay. So here I have two options, two versions. I'm just going to use the latest version, and I have here uh, two options: the mobile version or just the web. I'm just going to select the web version. Um, what do I want to do? I just want to go to the user interface or just to set up. I'm going to do the setup here in this video just to show you what shows up when you connect your Linksys to your network. Okay? Your router to your network or to your computer for the initial configuration setup. So this is what you're going to uh, see the first time. This is the window that you're going to see. Of course you will need to agree to the terms and conditions. You can always uh, take your time and read the license um, the software licensing. Uh, some people don't like to read that. Uh, I sometimes read it just for my entertainment. Manual configuration, you can click there if you if you are like computer savvy or you, you know what you're doing, you click on the manual configuration and you can do the manual configuration. But if you're not, then click next. And in the next window, you're going to see um, the, inst the installation of the upgrade, it's uh, of the updates. It's important that your router is uh, constantly updated, uh, frequently updated. I'm not saying it's going to happen every day, but at least every six months or a year, you'll you'll get an upgrade because sometimes there's a vulnerability that needs to be addressed in uh, in routers, so hackers can all uh, you know can all hack in into your uh, network, and they usually recommend it. Uh, I personally prefer to uh, you know in my live environment just to update uh, automatically. Uh, as recommended and then I check it and then I click next and here is um first step in the configuration this is where you configure the Wi-Fi name okay uh, for the purpose of this exercise I'm going to um, call it um, lab Wi-Fi okay that's the name and uh, look what it says here and the password the password I can keep the same password I would not recommend it but I'm just gonna write the word school just uh, for the purpose of this exercise, okay? So school lab. Uh, I recommend to use a very strong password and there is utilities out there uh, that will teach you how to use a strong password. Anything that you will remember, of course. And I want you to read this part here, uh, the band steering. Uh, it says having one Wi-Fi name enables band, band steering for all your bands. Band steering assign wireless devices to the Wi-Fi band that will provide the, for the best performance. What is the difference between the 2.4 and the 2.5? This router has both. And the difference is that this one reaches longer distances, but it's a, it's a little slower. Okay, the speed is slow. This one will reach, it's the contrary, will reach uh, like shorter distance, but the speed is higher. It's, it's, it's a faster speed, okay? But you don't need to worry about that because what happens is when you connect a device to this router via Wi-Fi or via um, Ethernet cable, um, it, it's going to identify the proper routing. Basically, uh, this one is mostly for Wi-Fi, so it will automatically detect whether your phone will connect to the 2.4 or the 5 giga, gigahertz uh, automatically, and, it, and that's transparent to you and you will not have to worry about it, okay? So I will reconfigure like that. Um, click next and then this is uh, very important because uh, all Linksys router uh, come with default uh, admin password and believe it or not you have no idea how many times I've been to uh, businesses and uh, small businesses mostly and I the first thing I do I just test the, the password in the um, in the office and most of the time they they have not 
they have not even changed the pass the admin uh, this password so um, I'm gonna change it to admin now me one just for the sake of this exercise of course I do not recommend or endorse putting this password because it's it's gonna be guessed in three seconds okay by a hacker and um, okay, put a strong password this is to access the interface of the configuration this is not the Wi-Fi password the web password we already provided in the previous uh, screen okay so you click next and uh, that's it this is the uh, router setup it's confirm confirming that you're going to be using this will be the Wi-Fi name so when you click on your uh, on your um, on your Wi-Fi uh, icon here at the bottom, I do not have that one, but you will probably have it. Uh, you'll see this lab wife or whatever name you provided, okay? And then your password, confirm that, confirm this, and then click next, and that's the end of it, okay? Um, creating a Linsys account. It's up to you if you want to do that. I personally do it because uh, I, if in the event that I forget the password, I can always uh, retrieve it through here so it's up to you I'm just gonna say no for now but if you want to create an account just click on sign in register and there you go okay so click next and that's the end of it that's the end of my video if you uh, have any questions just uh, post it down in the in the comment section of this video if you liked it click on the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you and have yourself a great day